Hi, these next two videos I actually edited and divided it in two because when I recorded it, I didn't realize it was, it was that long. Hello, so in this video, I want to show you how I did the cannon fire event, the idle event, and the destroying event, uh, the cannonball destroy event, and also. Uh, show you some stuff I did with the, with the attenuation uh, for the cannon firing uh, and also some reverb and how I want it to be kind of a dynamic mix or mostly change the mix of this uh, event depending on the distance of the player so here we go uh, so well we have the cannon here, right? Uh, we have our blueprint in here. And I showed you last time the on beat, uh, play the cannon firing event on beat. And here it is. We, I actually just have it here. And as you can see, I have this as, as an AK component. You can do it uh, this way, for example. Uh, I'm using, in case you don't know, Unreal for. 0.25 and why is 2019.2.3 so uh, if I find the event in here I can I'm using the new integration method they have in it the event base right so I have my my event in here the cannon fire right here it is and what I did was Add it as a component in here, and with that, I just can do a get right, I drag in here and post event, post associated event, post associated event, and there you go. That's how I'm doing that firing, right? That on the side of the firing event, I'm gonna save uh, the other one I told you about is the idle event. So that will be on the blueprint of the projectile. So every, every time it's been uh, spawned, I am posting the event here, J the same way I did with, uh, with the firing one, post associate event, the target is the, the, that AK component that has the, uh, the event I need. As you can see, I'm um, changing a little bit here, the attenuation scaling factor, uh, some occlusion, and when this uh, projectile gets destroyed, or when it hits, right, we are playing damage to our player with this, and from a hit location, I'm playing the event, the cannonball destroy. I did it for, in this case, this way. Now, if we go to, to Wise, we can see our fire event, we can see our idle and our destroy sound effects, right? They are in this event. This is the idle one, this is the fire one, and the destroy one. That, as you can see, has uh, the stop idle um, here. So I'm playing the ball destroy sound effects and the idle. So now I want to show you something directly on the game. So what I wanted to do is uh, I don't want to I don't want uh, the attenuation to be actually a spherical. I mean it is, but what I wanted to do is that when I'm close or kind of in front of the cannon, it will sound more right. If I'm closer, of course, it will sound more. If I'm far away, it will sound less. It will be attenuated. But I wanted to have a, co a cone in here, right? Like this. Uh, not only like a sphere as we can see in this uh, diamond example. So for that, what I did was, uh, if we go to the fire and we go to our positioning and we go to our attenuation I have it set it up like this we have uh, 
uh, our uh, the volume right uh, affected by the distance with this attenuation nothing weird normal right I'm also uh, using the spread so if I'm close to it it will have a spread of 100% it will be kind of like a 2d sound and as I get away it, there's less spread it will be more like a mono sound right and it will it will have more uh, you know localization uh, I mean we will we'll know where it's coming from right also I applying some low pass to this event right so if I play it So I'm going to lower the volume here. So if I play, if I'm close to it, it will sound like this. If I'm getting away, nothing. Why? Because remember, after this point, we won't actually hear. Uh, so let's go there, right? Awesome. So that's on this side, uh, but we have some more uh, stuff on these uh, sound effects. I'm gonna leave that for now at that volume. So uh, we have, uh, let me get checked here, right. So on this part of the sound effects, the punch, I'm gonna play it. It's more like a mechanical part, right, of that of the cannon. So what I'm doing is just uh, affecting this depending on on the volume, uh, on the distance. Sorry, I'm affecting the volume depending on the distance. So if I'm here, I won't hear much, right? But if I'm really close, I will hear that mechanic part of the sound. Cool. Uh, flames same thing I will hear the flames if I'm close enough I won't hear that much right if I'm uh, kind of far away another thing that I did was with this paramedic a paramedic EQ is uh, mm, affecting the low uh, spectrum right on 70 uh, 77 Hertz and below right if I get away I won't get that much low frequency nice uh, that's how I wanted to do we could think actually the other way sometimes when you're far away you just hear the low sounds right but I want to give that sense of a little bit of danger because what I'm going to do is that where I'm far away, I will hear more of the reverb of, of that sound. If I'm far away, I will hear more of the reverb of, of that sound, not much of, uh, not much of, of the actual dry cannon, right? And to do that, what I have to do is use this part. So first, I'm just going to show you how it sounds, the way I have it. Uh, let's go here, just in case, generate sound banks, some data, sorry. And let's hit play. Uh, actually, I need to set this up as it was. Save. And there's something I forgot to show you, and it was the how I was making, you know, this uh, event sound like I told at the beginning with a cone, right? So I'm gonna show you the cone attenuation I have. Right, if I'm close, we get away. 
much. And I'm gonna stop it for now. So, on the fire, uh, kind of fire attenuation, I was showing you this part. And here we have the cone attenuation, right? Out at angle. We can open it or close it a lot. This is what worked for me. Inner angle. 20. And it, well, how much am I attenuating the sound? I could actually put some low pass filter. I'm not doing that for now. I think it, it works the way I want it with these settings. So uh, I'm going to show you directly here in the profiler. Uh, let's go to game object profiler and I'm going to play it. Right, so so we have our player in here. And well, this is the cannon that is closest to us at the moment. And we have our cone, so I could get inside that red zone. Here you go. And I'm gonna get closer. You see how I'm here. What I wanted to do with this this way, you know, of, of, of this system or this set setup is that when I'm in front of the cannon I want you know to feel a little bit more in danger. So I feel more the sound of the cannon. If I'm on to the sides, I don't want that. If I'm to the sides, I don't want to hear that much of the cannon. There you go. So that's uh, what I wanted to to convey with this system. So that's on that side. I'm gonna stop it here. Goodbye.